Vocal town halls across the country have become a very prominent part of the national discussion over health care reform. Local Congressman Tom Perriello from Virginia's 5th District is on the front lines of that debate. He's in the midst of 13 town halls on the topic with residents across his sprawling district. He'll hold a town hall tonight in Farmville. Congressman Perriello joins us now live on the phone to talk about this. And Congressman, first off, we've seen the pictures of yelling and screaming at these town halls. Some of yours have been rather lively. Have you found them overall to be a productive discussion? Well, I think they've been a, a very important discussion. We've actually done 15 already, and we have six more to go, which is more than anyone in the country. And I think it's just important for people to have a chance to be heard uh, and to speak their mind. And, you know, there are a lot of different conversations. In addition to the town halls, I spend my days meeting with chambers of commerce and doctors and business leaders and others about more of the nuts and bolts uh, of the bill. Um, but it's really been exciting to see so many people engaged this August. Now, I, I take it your mind isn't made up on this issue yet, and perhaps the biggest debate right now is over the so-called public option. Do you think the public option is a necessity for any bill that's going to pass Congress? Well, I actually think the biggest debate for people in the middle right now is cost. And the question is, is this going to bring the cost of premiums down for small business owners or middle class families or not? And my reason for being a no so far is that I don't think we've done enough to create that competition. If I see a plan that I think is going to bring those costs down, uh, I'm excited to support it. And then the debate is whether the public option or co-ops create more competition uh, or not. And I think uh, there's a lot of evidence that they do create competitive pressure that will bring those costs down for folks. Um, but part of what August is about is taking the time to vet that with uh, experts and citizens and others. So you're not among this group that says, if there isn't a public option, I'm not going to support the plan? No, I don't think that's where the ultimatum is. The ultimatum for me is, are we going to bring down costs uh, of those premiums? And we all know the biggest driver of those uh, costs going up is the cost of the uninsured being shifted onto those of us who have private insurance. And we've got to figure out a way to get the uninsured paying into the system, not getting it for free, uh, but paying into the system. So, you know, in all these town halls, I think for the right, it's about government control. For the left, it's about holding corporations accountable. And for the middle, it's really about cost. Can we bring these ridiculous costs down um, and get a little relief for working folks? So I think it's uh, three different conversations, all of which are important. Now, you're a Democrat. The Democratic National Committee has described some of the opponents that come to these health care town halls as part of a mob. Would you describe, uh, would you agree with that characterization? Uh, I would not. I've been really impressed by the people, regardless of their views uh, at the meetings. We've, uh, they've been tense, um, but uh, they've, they've never gone from a simmer to a boil. I think people uh, have, are there genuinely on their own free will and wanting to state their mind uh, on all sides of it. And uh, we've been able to have uh, very long, uh, very, uh, very long uh, meetings, <laughs> and that's been part of it, too, is making sure we all cut people off and give people a chance to be heard. All right, many more to come for Congressman Tom Periello. He has one tonight in Farmville at the Prince Edward Middle School. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Thank you.